day, everybody. My name is Rick Toffin, and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy by Telltale Games. Um, got the uh, music issue fixed, and uh, we're going to start with episode two. It says, as the Guardians race to answer some difficult questions, Rocket is forced to confront his darkest memory. Their quest for, for answers will lead them to confront a devious criminal and a troublesome figure from Peter's past. Alrighty, start episode two. Let's get into it, under pressure. I assume that would have been the song by uh, Queen. But for copyright issues, I'm playing it safe. Smile, son of a... You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Go out on a high note. I keep thinking about Nebula. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. She gonna be pissed? And I believe she was. Like you said, she's your sister. Trust me, family's worth fighting for. Maybe you're right. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have Thanos? The Mad Titan? Got his big purple corpse right here. My boss has significant resources and could pay handsomely for such a rare specimen. I will not rest until we have conquered Whoa. every star system in the galaxy. It's a big, big blue girl. Starting with you. Yep, I remember that. Yep, it left on a good ending. Yep, that's a neat feature to have for the game. It. What? No! No! No, 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 no! What is this dark <laughs> sorcery? <laughs> Back, foul demon! Whoa. Uh... I am Whoa, brute. hey! This is not normal! Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity! Guys, it's me! It's Peter Lord! I, uh, Starquill! Uh, I mean... Peter! Uh, I thought you were... Yeah, so, uh... I guess I was dead, and now, uh, apparently I'm not. <laughs> nice this is save. impossible! Impossible is one thing. This? <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Oh, come on. Believe me, man. Prove it to me. What do you expect him to do? If he is really Peter Quill, he will know. Oh, come on. Who else could master these sick moves? Stop. Stop doing that with your pelvis. What? This? Mm, that is most <laughs> disturbing. Okay. Great. Everybody calm now, huh? We cool? No. I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's got to be a catch. I mean, this is insane. You see that, don't okay, you? Okay, Rocket, just... Everything comes at a cost. We 
Just don't know what it is yet. Hollis said it required a sacrifice. Mm. Which is a true. life in exchange for another. Thanos. He was holding the Eternity Forge when he fell. Yeah, real comforting. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. <laughs> Everyone, hold oh, on. The space battles Things are gonna so get a cool. little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, you just died. Are you sure you're okay to fly? Ah! 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 Easy, Quill. Did that answer your question? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Oh, man. Root says he's gonna Let's puke go. again. <laughs> Get the bag. <laughs> Alrighty. I like, how they, I like how they just keep, just go straight like arrows. They don't really fall yet. I think we lost her. This hollow lady's relentless. Why she want this eternity thing so bad? Her ship was full of dead Kree. Thousands of them preserved in stasis pods. Uh, okay. Uh, now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hollis' hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her. And then oh, bringing yeah. her back to life. And then killing her again. <laughs> and then bringing her back to life. And then killing her, her again. again. And then bringing her back to life. And we then get it, Drax. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. One I would not lose. You can't have the forest, you know, I'm all for people die. having opinions. But sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. Huh? Then we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. Can't the galaxy stay guarded for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hollow will not stop hunting us. Milano oh, can't take shit. much more to this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landed. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our shit... Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. Things don't look so good between Peter and, and uh, Peter and Rocket. Woohoo! All right, episode two. I, I'm loving this series. I'm having a lot of fun. Right, John. Neon District. I'm actually thinking about doing the Batman se uh, series. I was actually intentionally that was my that was supposed to be the first game I was going to do. So, but no. So instead, Guardians of the Galaxy it is. Um, but if you guys do want me to do Batman uh, the first season, we? I can. More than I likely, like I'll being probably just start off with season with Hala on our trail. Sorry. <laughs> Let me do the talking. Alrighty. Uh, P, knock, or let's see. Uh, let's see here. Will? If you're here, trouble ain't far behind. My ship's busted. Hey, Yondu. And you're the only guy who can fix it. Oh, I love him in Guardians. Uh, Guardians <sighs> this is why too. you never loan stuff to people. Haven't seen you since you left me in the Ravages. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins. Heard you got in bed with the Mary collector. Poppins, y'all. Which is exactly why I can't trust you no more. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of you for taking after me. Don't mean I want you hovering on my doorstep, bringing all kinds of trouble my way. I'll invite you next time. Next time on. I do a deal with the collector, I'll find a way to cut you in. Units for days, dude. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Make yourself right at home. <laughs> oh. 
thought it was just you, Quill. Not all your little playmates. Meet my hey, family. Hey, no plants on the roof. These guys are my family, Yondu. Oh, man. Yep, see Gamora like Great. that. Okay, quick introductions then. This is Gamora. See now. Nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. <laughs> oh, man. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food. Mine. A warrior must eat. And last but not least, he's like eating all the fucking Rocket. munchies. Rocket! I don't trust Ravagers. Quit. They'll Whoa. shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can talk. Want to hear me talk? Okay, I'm gonna blow your friggin' head off. How's that for talking? Yondu, put that arrow back in your pants, man. Look, Rocket's just a little sensitive because everyone's been trying to kill us lately. Well, you can add me to the list. his face. What the hell? <laughs> I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly oh accepting this God. idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. <laughs> well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Could clear some space. I know how much you like shiny stuff, but that one, it's mine. And calm yourself, Quill. I'm just having a look. Oh, shit. Oh, great. It's going to take me back to my mom. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't oh, been easy. Beautiful meteor showers. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always going to be here. That's true. Life, that's... I worry about that's you. That's life. You're growing up so fast. I know, Mom. I'll do better. I'll do better. That's all you can you know. do, man. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're going to save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. What the fuck? And change everything. Whoa, something's weird there. That's not right. Wait. This... This isn't how it happened. You... You didn't say that before. Please, trust me, baby. I'm trying to help you. Hmm. Every time I look up there, I find something new. Something I that's some, overlooked. That's something off. About this. Come sit the by hell? me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. Peter, please. Just for a little bit. No. I'm cool right here. Suit yourself. That, it was fucking weird. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know they don't look like much. But you keep staring and suddenly they come alive. Canis start... Major? I think that one is Canis Major? Canis Major? Shaped okay. like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever going to get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams every single night. Uh -oh. That's Orion. Orion. No doubt about it. <laughs> it is indeed. First constellation you ever learned.
Okay, the more I click, the more of those weird stars start to appear. And I got this one left, okay. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. <laughs> yeah, but my dad's a real piece of shit. Fucking wants to turn himself into or have himself everywhere. That looks like the Eternity Forge. <sighs> sure does. Look closer. The hell? That writing. It wasn't there before. Should I trust my mom? What? What does it say? Okay, she's gone. Mom? Did this just turn into a horror movie? She's gone now, boy. It's just you and me. Come find me, Peter. Oh, is she right up there? Achievement unlock. Double fantasy. Ooh. Guys. I don't think they can hear us. They just really tripped out. Some Did you just shit. see what I saw? It's been mm -hmm. decades since I seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Peter? Something was off. <laughs> Are they off that memory? Now? That wasn't how the night ended. Can't help you. I wasn't there the first time. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating it already! Be a freaking God, I can't Cree. hear myself think. Can you read it keep for us me? in suspense. What does it say? Yeah. Come you on, can read know, that filthy know. language. No. But I think my sister can. Aha, uh -huh, so that's why we something. have to go get her. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole uh. it from him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula. Maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo-chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. And that is something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. Nebula's Sounds like a real. happy family reunion. You two can talk and, uh, uh sharpen your knives. I, I don't know. I've never had a sister. <laughs> nope. Sounds about right. I tried to get in contact with Nebula not long ago. She won't be hard to track down. Better let me have a look at your ship, then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. Enough with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? I think I'm supposed to get Drax off the bench. What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. I don't only use it for you guys. My mom. My mom? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't know a lot about me. But before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I just I have to try. I gotta go to half people. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. You gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. But this favor, I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. Rocket's really trusting me here. So I'm gonna go with it, man. 
I can't lose Rocket. This person means that much to you. We'll go. This dude's my family. Really? Thanks. I mean it. Yep. Help me out with this, boy! Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! It slipped. Let's get going. Alright. God, I love the graphics. I love the color, the neon. It's really cool. All That'll right. do it. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. <laughs> Where are we going, Star Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Hey, you promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading towards the Collector's Museum on Nowhere. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. And we're supposed to care because... If I know my sister, she'll kill anyone who gets in her way. And once she has Thanos, if she goes off the grid again, I can't guarantee I'll be able to find her. We can't risk it, Peter. We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Oh, it's too late. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to Half World. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's more important. When it's a matter of civilian lives, yes, I do. Uh, I promised Rocket that we were going after Nebula. What should I do? Oh, God. Uh, I gotta save lives. I gotta be a hero, but I promised Rocket and I can't be a douche. But there's a lot of lives you gotta save. And we're the Guardians. We gotta be heroes. Fuck! Mm. Okay, uh... Shit, I'm sorry. I made a promise to Rocket. We're going to Half World. I just gotta go. Thanks, I gotta buddy. Help. I gotta help him. I owe you one. First the Collector, now this. I wish for once you would listen to me. Oof. Not like too good with Gamora. I better check in with the guys. Who has been eating all this candy? I think we're thinking of Drax. Groot? Huh? Peter's room. Let's see what's going on in here. Only present I ever got from Yondu. <laughs> Found it on a stolen freighter covered in garbage. <laughs> Said it reminded him of me. <laughs> Rocket wouldn't let me put these in the common area. Huh. I better probably calm down, Gamora. Hey, Gamora. Are you, uh... You okay? This might have been our only chance to catch Nebula, and I... She could be gone by the time we find her, and then... I don't know what happens then. I'm sorry, I, I, I really don't want to talk about it. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm on her shit list. <laughs> it's funny how alien all my Earth junk starts to look after a while. Come on! 
Don't die on me. Why don't you let me buy you a new one of those? I mean, lots of fancy gadgets out there nowadays. No. Sorry. I, I appreciate the offer, Pete, but no thanks. Huh. Ah. Ah, crap. I think I got something in the engine room to fix this. If you want to talk, I'll be down there. Alrighty. Hey, there's Groot. Hey, how's my favorite tree? I am Groot. Oh, you're doing well, good. You think Rocket's gonna be okay? I'm worried about him. I am Groot. Well, this has been a lively and fascinating conversation. I am Groot. I think he agrees. I am Groot. Yep. Uh, you open your home to a bunch of misfits, and what do you get? Slobs. Peter, that's what you get. <laughs> Is that like a no Star Lord uh, button? Oh my god. Hey, Rocket. Hi, Quill. I'll leave you alone. Later, Quill. I walked out here for no freaking reason, okay. Eh. These keys. Carbon emissions are good. Engines are all running smooth. Some funky red light is blinking. Meh, that's probably fine. Perfect! You can never go wrong with the good shit. Don't touch that! I gave you this ship! Or at least I think it did. Can barely recognize it now. Look at all this crap you added to it. Hey, Drax. You doing all right? When Thanos was alive, I was a warrior with a singular purpose. But now, I you am hit useless. Depression. The others have made that very obvious to me. Aww. Maybe I should have seen it sooner. I was ordered to stay here, while you and Gamora fought Hala. Even then, you no longer needed me. I want me. you around, dude. Oh, don't say that. I still want you around, Drax. Thank you, Quill. I hope I do not squander your companionship. Clearly Don't. my skills, they are no longer as helpful as I had hoped. You should try talking to the others. You know, maybe they can teach you something new, help you find a, a new purpose. Who would you suggest? <sighs> I don't know. I do not think any of them would want to. Go talk to Gamora. She'll teach you to focus. And she's no stranger to the whole changing your purpose abruptly thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Focus would be good. I will speak with her. I should get going. Star-Lord. You still seem troubled by the visions of your mother. I am here to comfort you about such matters. Unless you do not wish to speak of it. Honestly, I'm freaking out. These visions, they... They're real. Visions cannot be real, Peter Quill. That is why they are visions. If I could see visions, I would be concerned as well. But not agitated as you are. Uh, okay. Agitation is for the weak. Good to know. Thanks for the pep talk, Drax. 
really great. You are welcome, <laughs> friend. Heads up, everyone. We're going to Half World. Later, Quill. Don't be a stranger. And take care of the Milano. She's a ship, but not a trash can. It's always fun seeing you, Yandu. It has been a pleasure. Don't overdo it now. Bye, Gamon. This is what we call great timing. Time to kick ass. Half world. Abandoned life. this place. <laughs> Home. Whoa. I haven't been back here since... Thanks for trusting me, Rocket. I'm glad you brought me here. This isn't what we're here for. Come on. You were... You came back for someone, didn't you? <laughs> This isn't about just opening up. You got your feelings. Rocket, let me... Let me help you. Don't touch her! Oh. Hey. Oh shit. Subject seems to be responding well to the program. Vital signs are good. Still no rejection of the artificial Whoa. vertebrae or neural implants. We're seeing Rocket's origins. The only one who wasn't a total failure. Everything rests on you, my little friend. Rocket. You okay? I heard you screaming in there. These walls aren't exactly soundproof. Oh, great. Just wonderful. Nothing like getting random bits of metal shoved under your skin. If I'd known you liked it so much, I'd have let you take my turn. <laughs> so, did you get it? You mean this? <laughs> Wait, it's the right one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Once that computer's finished, we can finally break out of here. Ah, <gasps> oh, he's held on to it. Advanced security. Supposedly unhackable blast doors. Piece of cake, right? You sound worried. Hey, you can do this. Just stick to the plan. It's gonna work. I won't let you down. I won't let you down, Lila. I know. Catch! You're making this look way too easy. Power source. Designed by yours truly. Okay. Moment of truth. Go ahead and hook it up to the underside. Alrighty. <sighs> Stupid piece of junk. 
You know, your ear twitches when you're frustrated, right? <laughs> it's cute. Oh yeah? You're cute. I meant that as an insult. I'm so offended. Why do you keep doing that with your face? It's called smiling. You should try it sometime. Happy? <laughs> now, all I need is a display, and we're in business. Facilities network. I keep having that dream. Still? Whoa, what dream? I'm outside again, in the fresh air somewhere. It's warm, bright. Can't hear a thing except the river rushing by. It felt so real. Termination? What the hell remember. does that mean? It's been so long. We gotta focus, Lila. We have to get out of here now. You're right. We have to get these cages open. There should be a hallway just outside that door. Come on, we gotta From focus. there, we make a break for the main entrance. When I get out, I'm gonna find that place. And I want you to come with me. We'll find the river. I know it's gotta be out there. Going wherever you're going, lady. We'll find home somewhere. Hide it quick. Subject 89P14. Still no progress. <sighs> Begin prepping lethal injection. Who is this green bastard? What is little drones? Rocket? I can't. Um. I can't lose you. Fight back. You got claws, don't you? Well, that idiot thinks we're nothing but a bunch of animals. <clears throat> so let's show him how right he can be. Rocket, I. Lila! Ah! No! Lila! Injection. No. Shh. Thought maybe I'd make it slower than I thought. <laughs> no, no, we're so close. You have to make it, Rocket. There you are. <laughs> Kill them. I'll create a distraction. Buy you time to get out. It can still cause a little chaos before it kicks in for good. I'm 
might as well try to take a few of them down with me, right? You go, Rocket. They'll be sorry for what they did to us. Is that what you want? Ah. No, no, you're not dying. I won't let this happen. Please, don't make this any worse than it has to be. Survive, Rocket. Sees the trees. Oh, Rocket. Got to see outside. It's beautiful, isn't it? I knew it. Got me teary eyed. That was some brutal just... shit. You had no right to see that. Those are my memories, not yours. It's not like I did it on purpose, okay? You can't blame me for this. That doesn't make it okay. I never said it did. <clears throat> even work how could it not work come on you did what you could rocket now it's time to go useless piece of junk just take it I'm sorry I dragged you out here Holy crap! This is touching on some really harsh and really real, just dark stuff, man. They better give the man some time to breathe. Thanks for, you know, going with me. I know you had other things to do. There's still hope, Rocket. We'll find a way to bring her back. I don't want to talk about it. No, 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 no. Come on. Please don't do this. I gotta go. Good. You're back. Looks like Nebula's started tearing the Collector's Museum apart. Hopefully we can still catch her. Let's do this!
Mom would have loved to see the stars from up here. Man, this chapter got real dark. Hey, everybody to the bridge. We're going to the Collector's Museum to intercept Nebula. Translate the Eternity Forge. We have to talk her down. If this turns into a fight, it's gonna get ugly. No! How do I find Peter Quill? Whoa! Uh, I, I, I don't. That's what all the ladies ask. Nebula, <laughs> let her go. You don't need to do this. <laughs> You thought you could take Thanos from me? What have you done with him, Nebula? What? Looking for your trophy? Thanos is safe now. I cannot say the same for you! I missed it! Am I gonna die again? That's enough. I wasn't prepped for this. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Whoa. Careful, Peter. Yes, careful, Peter. I think there was no other way out of that. Honestly. I think that was the best choice. Ouch. I swear. You may have broken me. But I have Thanos. At least he will have the burial he deserves. We are not beholden to him anymore, Nebula. 
Come with us. We can fix this animosity between us. We can be sisters again. We're not your enemies. Start over, okay? We're not your enemies. We don't have to be on opposite sides anymore. Get her up. Sorry about the mess. That's the last of it. I still haven't seen the Collector yet. I don't like knowing Thanos' body is out there somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. We have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dead guy. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Yeah, I don't really blame her. Her dad's dead, we beat her up, and then she gets locked in her sister's room. She's not having the best couple of days. It is what she deserves for serving Thanos. Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. I know you're good at knives, but trust me, you attract more flies with honey. What would you want with flies? That's not the point. <laughs> oh my flies God. are a nuisance. You okay to go in there? Frankly, no. I'm not okay. I wanted to reconnect with Nebula. You told me to reconnect with her. And then this happens. Maybe she'll come around someday, but... I can't see her wanting to reconcile anytime soon. Hey, Nebula. Neb. Can I call you Neb? Oh, oh hey, hey, hey. Do you mind not inviting me? I just want to talk like two civilized people. Can we do that? That's really up to you, isn't it? Thanos wanted this relic, and I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That, that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I don't know. That's what you're here for. Oh, really? I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. We'll fix okay. your arm. What if I sweeten the deal? Look, you help me with this one teensy tiny little thing, and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. She wants to see me suffer. Killing our father wasn't enough for you. You have to rub it in my face, too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Whoa, this is a happy place. There's no need for that kind of name calling. I mean, really, imbecile? Oh, sorry I hurt your delicate little feelings. That's enough, Nebula. You pass judgment on me, on my father. But I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you never, never to speak the name. Tarval, Tarval. I'll get what we need from you. You want me to talk? Get rid of her! Don't be ridiculous, Nebula! I have nothing to say to you. I'll make you talk! You know I can. Gamora? You need to leave. What? Now! If I hear screams, I'm not helping you. 
She never cared about us. The minute things get difficult, she'll be gone. You'll see. I did what you asked. You owe me now. I said I would talk. You've done one decent act for me, out of several despicable acts. I'm not keen on granting you any favors. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. These past few days... They've been the worst of my life. I lose my father. Then you show up and capture me and I'm forced to relive everything. Just leave me alone. I'm not trying to hurt you. You kind of deserve it. I'm not trying to hurt you, Nebula. Doesn't matter, does it? You still did. But maybe there's a way to fix that. Huh. Oh, God. No, what are you? What are you Whoa. doing? I know you won't take my word for it. Shit. So here. No, I trust you. you. Know. Here's a chip out of my head. You owe me. Thanks, Nebula. I almost... I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. She's trying to get a rise out of you, Gamora. Don't let her bother you, yeah. You can't let her. You try having her as a sister. I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So. Oh, that is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right. So how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Okay, it says, come find me in the temple. Helpful. Where does it say that? Find I it in a temple? I couldn't read it. My mom said the same thing when I died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. Except for all the dead Nova Corps bodies that Thanos put there. My mom? It's gotta be my mom. If you think it is, then I hope you're right. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. Shit, it's probably not my mom. An identified planet. Where's Rocket? We're almost there. I have not seen him emerge. Groot, go get Rocket. We need him up here. <coughs> I'm going to go with you useless piece of firewood. Uh... I am Groot. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. I am not leaving him here with her. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. I did say that. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes. I'll guard her. No! You cannot be seriously considering this. You're the one who told me to reconnect with her. Now that she's here, I deserve that opportunity. And I'll make sure she stays out of trouble. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Gamora, you should stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. Maybe it'll give you a chance to talk. Thank you, Peter. You... you side with her again, Peter Quill. Perhaps I truly have no purpose. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. I am Groot. 
least Groot likes me. I think Find me in the temple. Let's go find out who's waiting for us. Hmm. I was gonna say I don't think Drax is useless, but I, I think that Gormora deserves her chance because I've been siding with Rocket lately. I uh. <laughs> I forgot how slow this elevator was. I do not like being back in this wretched place. Well, this ain't a field trip, Drax. The markings on the forge said, find me in the temple. So, here we are, in a temple, again. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, I am here, as is Groot. But I should be guarding Nebula on the ship. You've been over this, Drax. So, why don't we just spread out? We look for secret doors or passages or whatever. I've got my scanner. If anyone's here, we'll find them. Examine the footprints. Alrighty. Ah, time scanner, huh? These I footprints are fresh. Hey, how's it going up there? Not now, Pete. Come on, Rockets. Okay, this is gonna sound like I'm hanging up, cause I'm hanging up. Hey, Gamora. How's it going with Nebula? About as well as I expected. She's been pretty quiet so far. Well, that's... Good, I guess. Better than the alternative. Oh, crap. What was she doing here? Star Lord, it's Hala. Oh my God. Oh God. Why? I saved you. That was a hologram, you big dope. What the hell? Look. Whatever they were trying to do, looks like they needed the forge to do it. Score one for the good guys. I am Groot! There's still more footprints. Hey, Groot. Have you seen anyone around who seems like they might know what an Eternity Forge is? I am Groot. Oh, something over there I should look at? Well, thanks, Groot. Keep up the good work. But I just came back from there. Well, someone's been busy in here. Let's see what you were doing over here. Where did they go? They went up. I jumped ahead there a little bit. Looks like some kind of button. Okay. And we press the button. So much for that. Button on this one. But there is one there. Huh. Nothing from this one either. <laughs> Looks like some kind of button. Whatever they're doing, looks like they're doing it at the same time. 
Didn't work. Both must need to be pressed at the same time. Hmm. Hey, Drax. You see that statue? Press the button on his helmet when I say so, okay? You okay? Okay. Uh -huh. One, <laughs> two, three. What happened? You went early. No, I didn't. One, two, three, go. I was waiting for the go. <sighs> Fine. Uh, One, two, two, three, go. I know. And you got. it's Christmas. Check this out. That definitely looks like the Eternity Forge. And those souls are being absorbed by it. That's why it didn't work for Rocket. It wasn't charged. Ah, okay. More footprints over here. Well, this is where Thanos found the Eternity Forge. I wonder what he wanted to do with it, though. Look at this. Whoa, damn. Looks familiar. Oh, I can't go back, okay. And here is where Hala failed. No Eternity Forge, no prize. Here goes nothing. Oh. Whoa. What does it say? Hang on. It's like some Star Wars. Let's see if Nebula's shit. cipher was worth all the trouble. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Huh. So, this is not the correct temple. We came here for nothing. Hang on a second, there's more. It says... Emnios? The temple we're looking for is on a place called... Emnios. The symbols are a star name. <laughs> I know how to get there! Gamora! Peter! Whoever we're looking for isn't here, but we figured out where to find them. Get those engines fired up. We're going for a ride. Um, about that. Rocket's down in the engine room. He's, uh, yelling some new and creative curse words. Yeah, you might want to talk to him. Oh, boy. Look, I know you miss Lila. That's okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> Deep breaths, Rocket, okay? <laughs> Trust me, it'll help. <laughs> Just. Poor In. Rocket! Ow. Poor little guy. Oh man, if he heard that, he'd kill me. But still. She's gone. She was the only thing keeping me alive. 
Oh. And I couldn't save her. She protected me. And I couldn't... I couldn't help her. You can't blame yourself for what happened. It's not your fault. I keep telling myself that. <sighs> but I don't know. I thought if I could just get her out of there, if she could just see it. This is all I have left of her. This stupid computer. I can't do this without her, Pete. I thought I could, but I can't. I can't. She's always going to be with you, Rocket. You haven't lost her. But it's gone. I can't fix it this time. There's nothing left. I, I still can't. I don't want to give her up. That's all I got. It's time to let go of it, Rocket. For good. I know. I know. <laughs> going on get the eternity forge and keep it safe go help rocket what are you gonna do That's right. There's no air in space. Oops. Wait! Let me fight. You trapped me on this piece of junk and now we're surrounded by pissed off Kree. I don't want to die here and neither do you. If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me too. Let me out. Without me, you're just gonna get us all killed. It's your only option. Let me fight and those Kree are dead in minutes. Okay, but one move against my crew. Any of them gets hurt and this little trust exercise is over. Do you understand? I understand. I'm trusting you. But yeah, I felt bad for uh telling Rocky to let go, because, but that is the harsh reality. These can't let things be simple like that. Coward! As tough as it is, you gotta, you gotta make peace. No matter how hard. I'm pushing you, I really don't know. Holy shit. Calm down. Get your shit together, man. Come on. More Drax. Drax, you okay? Drax! Not okay. Good. Yeah. Hurry! Is that cold? Gamora! I should have guessed Nebula wouldn't pass up the chance to fight. Well, someone on this ship has to keep you all alive. Here! This one's yours. My bad, I missed that. That's my seat! I mean, I'm sorry for rehashing this, but like, you, you just can't 
bring the dead back to Almost life. Almost like old times, isn't it? I mean, unless this does... Never unless any he's canon in this, I mean, this is Guardians of the Galaxy. But I don't trust that, that forge. I don't think it's really his We've got to move. Now. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Something else. Or someone else. And if we bring Lila back, what if, she, what if it comes out and like that cemetery? Is the she's engine room? Fucking evil. Rocket. You know Nebula I mean? and I she's will not... keep the bridge secure. Just get the power back you just on. Can't be so sure yet. If I knew what the uh, Eternity oh, yeah. Eternity Forge is about, oh no, what right. happened? Engine room. It's Eternity Forge is. Uh... <laughs> I'm getting tangent here. If I found out more Rocket. about the Trinity Forge, it'd be fine. We're bringing Lila back. Rocket's down, and we got some. You think you could possibly win against the Kree? Douchebag. Now that I've obtained the Eternity Forge for Hala. Ah, oh, stop, dude. Just, just stop. I really don't care. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare hmm. I? <laughs> you come onto my ship. You bust up my team, and then you go about spouting your evil plan like a bad monster movie? Hold your tongue! Hala will! Well, Hala can kiss my beautiful Earth ass! Here, catch! You'll like it! <laughs> oh, that was entertaining. Electric shock therapy? He looks like fucking Pepto Bismol. You must think you're clever, Peter Quill, but you can't run forever. The forge will be mine. Do not be foolish. I don't know. I run pretty fast. I think I'll take my chances. I've given you many, and you have wasted each one. <sighs> Peter, you better get the engines running. The Revenant's weapons are coming online. Rocket, I'm on it. Gamora, set a course for Emneos. Drop off our stowaways on the way there. Dead, floating in space. God, that's so beautiful. Space is just so fucking cool. Is everything oh, okay? Slept on the wrong side of the bed today. You guys ever get that? Whatever you say. I think Gamora does. <clears throat> you think your mom is really down there? See, I don't know, man. What do you care? Uh, fuck. I hope she is. I hope she is. Because if she is, and it's true, we'll we could bring Lila back. Talk to her. Just one more minute. You'd do almost anything to get that. I mean, if you could bring your mom back, what then? You still gonna be doing this? I always stick with you guys. Oh, come on, I wouldn't do that to you guys. The Guardians stick together, no matter what. And what, Meredith Quill becomes our new pilot? This is it. So, what now? I'm sure Peter has a plan. You do have a plan, right? Uh, we're gonna wing it. Uh, trust I know me, guys. What I'm doing, guys. Trust me. Can't argue with that.
That's a lot of lettering. Even 20% of players prioritize Rocket's personal journey over fetching Nebula on Nowhere. 59% of players prioritize Rocket's personal journey over fetching Nebula from the Nova Corps. Uh huh. Lila's last wish. Even 84% of the players deny Lila's last request. And rest Rocket's life to carry her out into some 16%! Shame on you guys! Come on now! Guarding Nebula. Yeah, I prefer Nebula because, uh, gar uh, Gamora guarding Nebula. I prefer that because they're sisters, they know each other more. I feel like Drax would just get distracted and just start, uh, I don't know, I feel like he would be clumsy enough to accidentally, you know, release her and then the shit gets stolen and then we'd just be lost there. Uh, see, I, sh I knew I should have told him to hold on, but still, you and 14.5% of players encourage Rocket to move on from the memory of, uh, Rocket's wrist computer, uh, yeah, I knew I should have stuck through that one, I knew I should have told him to hold on, like, some things you just can't let go, trusting the prisoner, um, let's see. And that's it? I did kind of bad for some. It just never stopped. We were at each other's throats over it. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot! You ever play that game, Monkey in the Middle? No? Well, here's the thing. There's a bunch of jerks. They stand in a circle. And they toss a ball around. And some poor turd in the middle tries to catch the ball. That turd, that's the monkey. And I... <laughs> I was that turd. Ugh, Peter just... He's not the most mature. Sometimes he can be just a huge... Sorry. It drives me crazy. I don't think I was God. really prepared for what we found on It's like Big Brother! Oh, Peter was definitely not prepared. At all. You don't look surprised. Nah, I got my ship back, and that was that. For a while. Worried? Hell, I've never been happier in my life. Quill, all of them, they fell into a dark hole. Real dark. Real, real dark. All that ancient stuff we found, guess what? It wasn't meant to be found. Honestly, why didn't they just bury it? You know, why'd they leave all these clues and crap? Just hide it better. It's so dumb. <laughs> and Hala, I mean, she might have. Who knows? Then again, maybe she would have stopped if it wasn't for us. Man, there wasn't a whole lot like for her. Like was coming around. Too, really. It was more of a know. personal. Certainly, she was just as angry. Personal as she episode was. between. Among the uh, the crew, while, that was kind of cool. Though, cool take like it on it. Before, before Tarval. 
real, real, real dog. Real, 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 real. And when we finally found her, I... Ouch. I couldn't make sense of it. None of us could. And what she showed us... Oh, yeah, the second it was out of her mouth, I knew. I mean, you get a chance like that. So much <laughs> power in your hands. What would you do? If you had to make that same choice. No one should ever have that much power. Ever. Everybody looking at you. You know the thing about responsibility? It sucks. Like a lot. Real, real, real dark. Dark, man. You know? Still fun, though. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So, it seems like they're starting to divide, and I sense Peter's going to get a little bit more on his dark side and more irresponsible. It's episode two. So, we'll call it good here, guys. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. And as always, we'll kick it again in the next video. Later.